हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट दी प्लांट टिश्यू कल्चर राइट सो इन प्लांट टिश्यू कल्चर द हिस्टोरिकल डेवलपमेंट ऑफ प्लांट टिश्यू कल्चर इच इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विच इज देयर इन द यूनिट थ्री ऑफ फार्मा कोग्नोसी एंड विच समाइम इट विल बी आस्ड फॉर द फाइव मार्क्स एंड टाइम इट विल बी फॉर दी टेन मार्क्स राइट सो इन वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द हिस्ट्री वी नीड टू रिवील द सीरीज ऑफ द साइंटिस्ट इन टू दंड देयर टाइम ड्यूरेशन इन विच टाइम जोन दे हैव गिवन वाट काइंड ऑफ कॉन्सेप्ट वाट इज देयर कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन इन टू द टिश्यू कल्चर और इन टू दैट पर्टिकुलर फील्ड फॉर वर्क वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब द हिस्ट्री राइट सो वेन वी टॉक अबाउट राइट फ्रॉम द beginning because plant tissue culture it is not developed the today or in the last few years it is there from right from the beginning where whenever at that period of time different scientists they have given their own concept with the lots of uh, experimentation and the research work right so let us try to memorize that we have a uh, we because ultimately we need to uh, uh, pronounce their name because they may be german scientist they may be american scientist uh, indian scientist so their name is very important to remember their time with in what time they given what kind of contribution these three things you need to remember so let's uh, start with the class like uh, first of all in that uh, there is a uh, sleden and uh, schwein right schwein s h w a i n schwein right in 1838 and uh, 1839 Uh, they told about principle of tissue culture means cell theory right what the first principle it was given then uh, uh, actually before that uh, the henry and uh, lois uh, they told about in, in 1756 uh, wound healing in the plant right so any plants uh, they may also have the particular types of wound into their stem and their branches right so uh, that can be healed by the their metabolites uh, that concept was told uh, by these guys then herbert land in 192 uh, they given the concept on totipotency initial concept uh, that uh, totipotency is nothing but cell is capable to grow outside of the plant body particular part of the cell may be root stem fruit flower bark whatever it is right then later morgan proved that the totipotency is the capability of the any part of the plant may be stem root or leaf something like that which can grow if it will be break, broken from the plant and it if it will be cultivated uh, in the other uh, soil so it will be able to generate the new plant that is the concept proved by morgan then uh, later on simon simon in 198 right 198 what he told is uh, the generation of uh, regeneration of bulky callus buds and roots that is possible like uh, bulky callus callus it will be taken and it can be regenerate right it can further grow the cell multiplication cell division it is possible in this callus that was told by simon okay then uh, after slowly we will increase the years right so it uh, whenever the time passed the, the different concept has came like coat and robin in 1922 so 198 to 1922 so these years you can remember how the increment it is going on right they told in vitro culture in vitro culture means in laboratory when we try to grow the plant not into the open field not into the nursery beds but uh, we have to grow in the in vitro by the using of test tubes uh, beaker conical flask glass wares glass apparatus by providing the nutrient plant growth hormone and all those so they told first of all in 1922 later on white in 1934 to 1939 in vitro technique by changing nature of media when the nature of media it will be changed like uh, micro element mic, um, uh, macro elements inorganic supplements the plant growth regulator carbon source nitrogen source if it will be changing the growth is also going to change right so they told uh, he told white told then uh, gautert gauteret right so uh, in 1934 he cultured cambium cells right so cambium means whenever the stem will be there so uh, in stem wood and bark between this wood and bark there will be the cambium so if that cambium can be isolated and it will be cultured into the different media by providing it can grow right then uh, when over beak right so uh, over beak right o b e r b w e k when over beak so uh, 34 to 19 1941 right so almost 6 uh, 7 year okay uh, he uh, used uh, coconut milk like coconut water from coconut water coconut milk 
he prepared and uh, uh, used in callus formation in dhatura plant so dhatura metal is the plant from uh, for for that dhatura plant callus formation it was possible with the coconut milk so that he told first he experimented and he told this concept which was very good contribution at that time then uh, l double low low right 1945 he developed the whole plant from this simple stem tip culture right so the stem tip uh, from stem tip he taken and uh, he was able to develop the new whole plant so it's also very good achievement right after one year ball b a w l in 1946 up in 1945 to 1946 he identify exact part of shoot mary stem right what exact part which can be uh, cultivated or which can be grow further then uh, mir in 1953 Uh, M U I R, so you, you can say mir, right? Transferring the callus tissue, right? He was done. Then uh, further in 19 uh, after one year, 1954, nicotiana tobacco or tobacco plant can be cultured, uh, like in the cell suspension that was possible. Then uh, again the Van Overbeek, uh, Van Overbeek actually in 1941, uh, he told uh, coconut milk is a good medium for the callus culture, right? So he proved that the coconut milk can be used. Uh, for the callus culture and it is going to be the good medium for the growth of callus that was told then later on uh, skug and miller in 1957 they told about concept of hormonal control of organ formation right so uh, hormonal means plant growth regulators auxin zebralin cytokine in all those thing right it control uh, hormonal control of the organ because they are going to participate or involve into the cell multiplication cell division of the organ formation of the particular plant that was possible in 1957 they were they told about that then later on we have uh, different types of plant growth regulator then bergman 1960 planting technique for cloning single cell right so from single cell how uh, the cloning can be done and uh, this planting technique uh, was told by the bergman in 1960 then stewart and coworker uh, 1966 he raised they raised plantlets from the carrot root so carrot root they told uh, they taken and uh, they were able to uh, uh, got the uh, plantlets from that okay then uh, reinert r i e n e r t reinert in 1968 somatic embryogenesis callus was possible then power 1970 after 2 year intra and inter specific fusion between protoplast right so that was also possible in 1970 after that uh, we had a uh, certain more uh, contributions like uh, carlson so uh, in 1972 carlson first inter specific somatic hybrid was possible and it was told by him then uh, Winken in 1981 electric fusion of protoplast so before that uh, it was the the fusion was done by the naturally or uh, maybe right so electric fusion by artificial electric fusion it was possible by the uh, protoplasm of the protoplasm that was uh, experimented and told by the wilken right then uh, uh, gamborg and uh, nebor 1987 he told the variations in protoplast fusion is possible and it happened right so after having this much of series of uh, uh, research and development and the concept has been told by the different scientist uh, during last two decades uh, the procedure of callus of somatic cells pollens and protoplast it was uh, refined and uh, new developments in uh, generating plants from cultured cells taken place right novel somatic hybrid plants also possible for last two decades and now we are having so many advanced techniques by using those concept and this is the scenario that we can have the hybrid products hybrid types of plants where we can expect the maximum percentage of the active moiety active constituents and we will get the good medicinal value from the particular medicinal plants or if it is the vegetables and fruits we will get the good nutritive value from those particular crop 
that is possible by the plant tissue cultures because it was not possible without their concept without their contribution when what they have given at their time and uh, those contributions is very important so now the series it right from the 17th century to 21st century it was arranged in a uh, series of the research which was taken place in the last uh, two three centuries that you have to write in the uh, ascending order right so that you can remember by going through the this particular video thank you all the best